I've sold tens and tens of cars, but every single car sale is still just as nerve wracking as the one before because there's so much riding on getting this thing sold. But the car has been parked near a tree, it's absolutely covered in loads of little bits of pollen and rubbish off the trees. So we need to get this cleaned up so it's in a good enough state for someone to come and hand over their hard earned cash and take this thing away. Late nights, determination and good friends have led us to the position that we're in now. Now the Polo has the hard job of impressing its potential owner, helping us get that next step closer to fulfilling that dream. A dream that comes ever closer on every single car that we sell. I advertised the Polo on Facebook and have had a few inquiries. We have a girl coming to view this thing at 11 o'clock. She is the first potential buyer for the Polo, which is why I'm just giving the car a quick wipe over and getting it prepared for her to come and buy this thing. Now it truly is down to the Polo on whether we get this thing sold. Now that is it. The finishing touches are done and now we sit and wait with anticipation waiting for Poppy to come and view this thing and fingers crossed she buys it. But let's just recap on the journey with this little Polo and see how far we've come. I've bought a 58 plate Polo. It's got no service history and it doesn't have any proof of the cam belt being done. The rear bumper is scratched to high heaven. I still think we can make strong profit on this car. The biggest task in hand is getting this thing detailed up. The Polo has failed its MOT test. The cam belt on the little Polo is now done. This driver's wing has definitely seen better days. Finally got an MOT test on it. And we're gonna to touch up all the little areas that are letting this car down. She's complete. Selling cars isn't always easy. The lady who was coming to buy this thing messaged me shortly before she was due to arrive and said that she had to go to A&E because her cat had scratched her eye. Being a gentleman, I was true to her word and I've held the car back for her, putting off other potential viewings just because I thought it was the decent thing to do. Now, a few hours later on, I finally made contact with her and she has changed her mind. She's retracted her £2,400 offer for the car and said that she will only have it at £2,000. Bear in mind she hasn't even seen it yet. She's happy to make offers on something that she hasn't actually seen, which seems a bit strange to me. Anyhow, I have another person wanting to come and view the car. He's gonna come in a little while and fingers crossed, if he doesn't want to buy this car, I will sell it to the other lady at unfortunately the price of £2,100. Now, I need to get this thing sold because it would be quite nice to go on holiday knowing that this thing has finally been finished and we are one step closer to getting our transporter. Instead of anticipating what could happen here, let's have a look at how much the Polo actually owes us. I have a feeling we haven't spent as much money as I first thought. We bought the car for £1,200 we found 20p, so that's money in for us. The service ended up being cheaper because we got a different air filter, which saved us some money, and that came in at £65.40. The cam belt kit came in at a grand total of £120. Rear brakes cost us £27 to put new shoes on the back. The MOT cost us £75. Unfortunately, we had to pay for another retest because they did fail it a second time after the initial one failed. And then last but not least, we spent 20 pounds on number plates for this thing. But all in all, how much does that add up to? That was close. I almost forgot to add the 40 pound that we paid for Jamie to paint that mirror cap. So let's get that on there as well. 
the Polo owes us a grand total of £1,547.4p altogether. If we sell it to person A, we can make £552.60p. Or if we sell it to person B, we can make, well, we don't know what we can make because we don't know what they're going to offer us. What an absolute result. We've just sold the polo, but how much money did we make? I can happily say that person B made us £752.60p. And if you're really quick at maths, you'll know that that means we sold the car for £2,300. And that is an absolute result. I am buzzing. If I just check the bank account, I can see that our grand total in the kitty is, drum roll please, £2,679.7p. Get you some of that. My memory today is terrible. I forgot we need to add the £5 that we sold the seat covers for, for the Fox, and the 20p we found in the car bring us to a grand total of £2,684.27p left to go and buy our next car. But it gets even better because at the time of you enjoying this video, I'm going to be laid up on a sun lounger in Greece, making full use of the all-inclusive beer and food, absolutely enjoying a well-deserved holiday. But I will catch you guys, fingers crossed, next week. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, because we have pulled out all the stops to get this video up for this weekend, even though I told you there wasn't going to be one. Thank you so much for your support, and we'll see you in the next one.